Hello, boys and girls. We are going to read chapter three of Lulu's Mysterious Mission today. Now, last time we found out that Lulu's parents were going on vacation without her. And she was told only the day before they were leaving. So she was kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, and she's going to have a babysitter who's going to be staying with her called, her name is Miss Sonia Sophia Selinsky, who will be coming now. Chapter three. Up in her room, along with being very, very unhappy, Lulu was trying to figure out what to do. Actually, she knew what to do get rid of the babysitter so her mom and dad would have no one to leave her with. All she needed to figure out was how. She went to her computer. Yes, she has her own computer. She has her own everything. And typed in how to get rid of a babysitter. But nothing too helpful came up. So Lulu started making a list of possibilities. And as she wrote, she chanted this little chant. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, that babysitter's got to go. While Lulu was chanting and making her list, the doorbell rang and a vice voice boomed through the house. A voice that sounded to Lulu like real bad news. Sonia, Sophia, Solinsky, it said, at your service. Lulu heard the gentle murmurs of her mom and her dad interspersed with Miss Solinsky's boom and the quiet, quiet patter of their feet interspersed with Miss Solinsky's clomp. And then some, someone, either her mom or dad, was knocking softly at her bedroom door with Miss Solinsky bellowing, the eagle has landed. Lulu, open up. The eagle has landed? That's how Miss Solinsky says hello? Lulu, thinking fast, took off her shoes, jumped into bed, and huddled pitifully underneath her comforter, hoping to make all three of them believe that she was suddenly struck down with some dreadful disease. And so, when she heard her mom calling, Come out, my darling, and meet Miss Solinsky, she said, I think I just got real sick. Probably not, said Lulu's dad. You looked perfectly fine to me just an hour ago. But I'm not fine now, Lulu replied. I think I'm very sick. And anyway, I'm definitely contagious. Not a problem, Miss Olinsky boomed, boomingly replied. I never catch anything. She then, with the nerve, turned the doorknob, opened Lulu's bedroom door, and marched herself straight over to Lulu's bed. And that is the end of that chapter. Ooh. Miss Olinsky, I think, might be uh, a good match for Lulu. So we will see what happens next. Make a prediction, and I'll see you next time.